Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where together we work through my to-do list and get things done around the house. First up, we are in Owen, our son's nursery, and I am folding his clothes. I just washed them this morning and need to get to folding. We used to have a nanny, if you have been following along, and he recently switched to daycare. Our nanny, I was lucky enough to have a nanny that did his laundry for him. So this is a new task that I'm adding. I've been playing around with what day of the week to do it. She used to do it on Mondays, but sometimes, especially in the summer, it just seems like he needs his clothing washed a lot more often because half the time he's going through three, four plus outfits a day because he's getting all dirty or soaking wet, playing in sprinklers or the water table, or whatever the case might be. So I did an extra load today on Saturday and was just getting it all folded up so I could put it away. I fold his clothing in a very similar manner to how I fold mine. I'm not really sorting through it first before I fold it, but you'll see I am purposefully grabbing certain types of clothing. I'm trying to fold all of his t-shirts and short sets that go together and make a stack of that. And then I like folding all of his pajamas together. I'm saving all of his socks for a little bit later so I don't have to dig around through the whole pile of laundry and waste time trying to find socks. It may seem small, but being strategic with your time like that helps in a variety of different ways because again, like I said, it doesn't waste time digging around looking for little things like matching socks because at the end you'll have just all of your socks sitting there. But also there is a little bit of brain power involved with different folding methods for different types of clothing. It's not rocket science or anything over here, but the way I fold his pajamas, just I get in that groove of doing it. So I like doing pajama after pajama after pajama and folding them the exact same way. And then doing shirt after shirt after shirt. Sometimes the process isn't exactly perfect, but you'll see I am trying to, for the most part, do things in little categories. The other fun added bonus of going through Owen's laundry is half the time it goes through the laundry and it still has marks on it and stuff. So I need to restain treat something and put it back through the wash. I try and catch it before I put it in the wash and I actually I keep a stain remover in his room next to his laundry bin, which is a nice hack if you have kids, especially young ones that are always making a mess. Instead of stain treating and pulling everything out and digging through the laundry before you put it in the wash, apply some stain treatment to the spot before you put it into the laundry bin or the hamper. Because I folded everything in those perfect piles, I can now put them away nice and easy. And while I'm at it today, I'm going to pull out a lot of his clothing that he's getting too big for. He is now 18 months, so he's at the point where he's just kind of switching over in a lot of clothing sizes. So not everything is ready to switch over, but I know there are a lot of pajamas or those two-piece set outfits that are really getting small on him. They're getting a little too short in the tummy and in the legs. So I'm gonna pull those out and then go through his other drawer. I'm looking at his jeans to try and figure out which ones are larger versus smaller and compare all of those. Just because I know the small Smallest ones will not fit him anymore by the time that it's cool enough for him to be wearing pants again. It's been a while since he's worn pants. I'm going to keep the largest of the 18 month sizes in there and hope that maybe they'll still fit him. And then I'm moving over some 24 month things into his drawer of current sizes. So where I am at right now at the top, that's everything that fits him currently. And then below that I store clothing that is the next size up. Just helps me to shuffle through things. And then clothing that has become too small and no longer fits him, that stuff I shuffle into a small bin in his closet that says too small on it. Once it gets full, like it is right now, after I finish hanging up a few more pieces of clothing, because he had a few items that were clean that I just washed that he needs to have hung, I will bring that into our guest room and I have clear storage totes in there that are labeled by size. And I'm going to put that in a new bin for 18 month size. Shadow 
Okay, so done with Owen's laundry. I feel like that took a little bit longer just because I was going through all of his dresser and pulling out extra clothing there. But today we're gonna do meal prep like I've been doing for the past few Sophisticated Saturdays. I think it's been a few weeks since I've done a full recipe in a video. I've just been showing a lot how I do meal prep and make things easier for my recipes during the week. This is one of those days. I also do cook full meals on the weekends, but kind of fun to mix it up and share just a few parts of different recipes. I was making a bok choy udon noodle stir fry, I guess. It was really good. I will try and find the recipe and link it for you in the description box below, but I'm just chopping all of those vegetables and gonna put them into a bowl with a top on it. And then when I'm ready, to make the noodles and to make the stir fry. All the veggies are chopped and I just open the bowl, toss it in the pan, and that is it. Now that all the veggies are chopped, I am going to work on the sauce that's gonna go with the noodles. That also makes it easy. And the udon noodles, I don't know if you've ever made udon noodles before, but they sell them a lot of times prepackaged in the grocery where they're like pre-cooked. You can either microwave them or they have some in the freezer section as well, but it's not necessarily like your boiling water and it's gonna take forever to make. So the noodles are essentially made, the veggies are just ready and need to be cooked in a skillet and then the sauce is ready and I'm just gonna combine all those things together with some shrimp and it's gonna be such an easy meal on Monday. My avocado oil was also out, so randomly I'm gonna fill that up right now as well. And the other meal that I had planned for a little bit later this week that I thought would be easy to get a jump start on some of the prep was a chicken Caesar. I can't remember the name of it. It was a chicken Caesar baguette sandwich of sorts, and it had a homemade Caesar dressing. So I'm adding anchovy paste, which sounded kind of gross. I've used it a few times cooking before, but it makes such good homemade Caesar dressing. And I just bought it on Amazon because it can be kind of hard to find sometimes in the grocery store. It is usually by the anchovies and by the tuna and stuff, but for some reason my grocery store didn't have it. So I just ordered some on Amazon and this sandwich turned out great. I didn't do any other prepping of the ingredients other than just making this dressing in advance. And Jim was gonna be the one to grill some chicken up for me which is really nice that he takes over the grill and I can sit back on those nights. He grilled the bread. There was also lemon juice that went in this sauce that I didn't add in right now because the lemon was supposed to be grilled on the grill before you add it in the sauce, which I think added a lot of nice extra flavor to it. So that was basically all I needed to do to prep two meals there. Now I'm gonna do a little bit more cleaning around the house. We're gonna pick up the living room. I like to do this to start off the weekend. During the week, at least I do it during the mornings after Jim and Owen go to daycare. I like to have a clean house for the day. So I pick up toys that he was playing with in the morning before I get to start working. And then after he goes to bed every night, then we pick up toys again.
I'd been running a lot of loads of laundry this morning and figured it would be a good time to clean out the washing machine. Actually, Jim asked the question. He was like, do we ever clean this out? Is there anything you do to clean a washing machine? And I said, hey, I have some washing machine cleaner I can easily just stick in there and it cleans itself. So I added that in today and then was back in the bedroom to make the bed. I'd washed the sheets on top of Owen's laundry and usually call for Jim's help to do this. He was doing a few other things around the house and working outside today. So I just tried to do it on my own, but a king mattress is just so heavy. I always feel like I can barely even pick up a corner of it. I don't know if it's our mattress in particular that's extremely heavy, but I have struggled with this thing since we got it. Does anybody else feel like changing the sheets is an Olympic event, especially when I change the duvet cover? That always makes me sweat. I feel like if I was still wearing this sweatshirt and had to change the duvet cover, I would have to take it off because it's a serious workout to change the sheets. While I was up here, I had a pile of stuff in the closet on the little bench we have by the window there. And it was piling up there because I knew it needed to be in the closet and to be hung up. And I was probably just too lazy to hang it up. So taking the time right now to hang it all up, put it away. And one of the best things you can do for yourself is just to put things away right the first time it makes such a difference and then you don't have to waste your time doing what I'm doing right now I endeavor to do that myself it doesn't always work out sometimes I feel like I don't have the time to do that which is usually not true but things build up for everybody inevitably as long as you then take the time to take care of it and don't let it sit there for weeks and weeks and weeks it's probably not that big of a deal today is the day of randomness it's kind of fun doing that on Saturdays and just sharing actually what I do I made myself a little matcha latte that you'll see I added into my cup there and I've pulled out a million spices here because I'm making more taco seasoning I like to make my own homemade taco seasoning and was just looking up the the recipe that I usually use. I have a bowl there and I am just going to add in spice after spice after spice and make a very large batch. And I made so much that I had to use one of the spice jars to have backstock of my taco seasoning, which is kind of nice that next time I need a little bit more, I have some backstock pre-made and don't have to go through the process of making it all again. Taco seasoning can get pretty expensive if you do buy it in the little packets. And I like knowing exactly what I'm putting in here and controlling it. And I think I found a recipe that I really enjoy and like. So this is what I've done for years and years and years. It's just made my own taco seasoning. little hack here if you don't have a funnel or like me if you don't want to grab it or I think this sometimes works better is just taking a plain piece of printer paper and adding your spices to that piece of paper so if you're decanting your spice jars and putting them just regularly into glass jars if you fold it up and make a little funnel that way it slides in so well very little mess that way and again perfect if you don't have a funnel I've got all my spices put away, time to clean up the kitchen. I'm gonna be done in the kitchen for the day. I have a pot that was sitting out that got 
really dirty so I'm adding a little bit of that Dawn Power Wash which I don't use very often but I use it for dirty greasy jobs and I'm spraying that on to the sides of the pot and just letting it sit in the sink and figured while I'm at it it's been a while since I cleaned the microwave like I said today is a little bit random I'm going all over the place and Jim brought me a stool so I could get up higher and get back there it is nice having our microwave where it is but I cannot clean the back of it unless I have a stool so I am getting in there I took the glass plate out I'm gonna scrub that in the sink let it dry and then put the whole thing back together Hoping change is gonna find me. you don't have to The last thing I'm gonna do today is spend some time in my office. I had a few label orders that I was working on and wanted to catch up on those. There was also a few personal labels I wanted to make. I oftentimes intermix the two of those together. I oftentimes just have things that I need to do sitting at my desk and they're not always things that need to get done, but sometimes things that I wanna get done. Like if you can tell, I have my baby book in the corner there. Like I said, Owen just turned 18 months, so I have his 18 month page open of his, not baby book anymore, I shouldn't say, it is his toddler book. I made him a book when I was pregnant, a book when he was a baby, so birth zero to 12 months. And then this book goes all through his toddler years and I have another coordinating book that goes all the way through the age of 18. And I think it is just so special to have this collection of his entire life and all of these memories I have for him with photos. There's notes that Jim wrote in there too. Mostly me, <laughs> mostly me writing every month. And depending on the stage of life, sometimes it was every week and when he gets a little bit older after i think he hits two they end up being yearly pages and there's also spots for him to start adding in doodles and prompts where i can ask him what his favorite sport is right now and his favorite color what he wants to be when he grows up and it'll just be so fun for him to look back on those so i'm going to update that get those label orders done and spend the rest of my busy part of the day at my desk here that is it for today's Sophisticated Saturday. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, I will see you all later.